One of the easiest ways to get laid or get a girlfriend is to get a woman to pick you up. This is what I call a reverse pickup. And essentially it's about switching roles with the woman. Because in most cases when a man meets a woman that he finds attractive, he starts showing a lot of interest in her. She notices that. And then she feels like she is in the position to decide whether or not he is gonna get a chance with her. So to get a woman to try to pick you up, you essentially need to do two things. One, you make her feel very attracted to you as you interact with her. This can be as a result of you displaying confidence, emotional masculinity or emotional manliness, using flirting or humor and making her feel girly in comparison to your masculine approach to the interaction. Two, make her feel like she needs to pass your tests in order to get a chance with you. So this is what a lot of women do to men. When a woman meets a man and notices that he seems interested and attracted to her, she will usually test his confidence by pretending to lose interest in talking to him or she will stop contributing a lot to the conversation to see how he reacts, right? So is he gonna lose confidence and become insecure and start trying really hard to impress her because she seems to be losing interest? Or is he a confident guy? Does he have what I call independent confidence where he feels confident around people regardless of how they are behaving? Or does he have dependent confidence where he can only feel confident if people are being nice, friendly, and supportive towards him? Women usually test men in that way because they're trying to find themselves a confident man. A man that they can look up to, a man that they can follow, and a man that they can rely on when in a relationship. On the other hand, if a man has dependent confidence where he can only feel confident if she is being nice towards him, being friendly and supportive, then what she is essentially going to get is a boyfriend who needs her to take care of him emotionally. She has to be supportive, pat him on the back and always reassure him. Otherwise, he will become insecure. As a result, she doesn't feel like she can look up to him, she can follow him as the leader, she can feel safe and protected by him, and so on. Another type of test that a woman will do when she notices that a guy is interested in her is she will test his level of interest. So is he truly interested in her? Or is he just wanting to hook up with her or show off to his friends or make himself feel good by making her feel attracted and then walking away and not doing anything about it? So a woman will test a guy's interest level by pulling back some of her interest. If she stops contributing a lot to the conversation and doesn't show him a lot of interest, is he then going to lose interest? Or is he going to continue interacting with her, making her feel attracted, connecting with her, and trying to get something going between him and her because he is truly interested in her? Women use those sort of tests on men and it's not as if women are being evil by doing that or doing something wrong. Instead, the tests help a woman find herself a confident guy and find a guy who is actually interested in her. Now, in terms of you testing a woman, it's a little bit different, right? You're not testing to see if she's confident enough so you can follow her and look up to her and feel safe and protected by her. Instead, you test her in a different way. Essentially, what you do is you make her feel attracted to you by displaying confidence, emotional masculinity, flirting with her, and so on. Right? So she's feeling attracted and interested in you. Then you give her the sense that she has to pass your tests in order to get a chance with you. She has to be good enough for you. You could actually lose interest in her at any moment if you discover that she isn't the type of girl that you like. For example, she's not intelligent enough, she's not cool enough, she's not easygoing enough, she's not down to earth enough, and so on. Since she's feeling attracted to you already and now is feeling the need to hopefully be accepted by you, it causes her to want to turn on her charms and try to get you to really like her. As a result, you end up being in the position where you are essentially giving her a chance with you. So it's a reverse pickup. Now, one thing I wanna point out with getting women to pick you up is a mistake that a lot of guys make. That is, a guy assumes that if he simply shows women that he doesn't care, that he could take them or leave them, then they'll try to pick him up. Yet, that doesn't work. If a woman doesn't feel attracted to a guy, 
doesn't feel a spark with him and she notices that he doesn't care about her, he doesn't care about any women. He's just doing his own thing. It may make the woman feel a bit curious as to why, but in almost all cases, she's not gonna go and chase after him just because he's not showing any interest. What makes the woman feel compelled and willing to want to pick you up is attraction. So you have to attract her as you interact with her. Only then will she care that you seem to be subtly judging her. You seem to be the sort of guy that could actually lose interest in her if she isn't cool enough, intelligent enough, pretty enough, this enough or that enough. So she then tries to turn on her charms and get you to like her enough to want to be with her sexually or romantically. As a result of trying harder to get you to like her, she finds herself in an unusual position. That being, she's trying to pick you up. This makes her feel excited that she's finally met a guy who is a challenge and who she really likes. She doesn't want to walk away feeling rejected by you, so in almost all cases, she will show you even more interest and you then simply let her have a chance with you. So to be clear, to create a reverse pickup, you need to make her feel very attracted to you during an interaction and make her feel like she needs to pass your tests to get a chance with you. Your tests are essentially about whether or not she's good enough for a guy like you. You don't tell her that though. You just let her sense it based on how you are behaving and reacting to her. When a woman is feeling attracted and gets the sense that she hasn't fully won you over yet, she will then want to turn on her charms. For example, flirt with you, show more obvious interest, touch you, compliment you more and so on to make you really want her. You are then in the position of power and simply let her have a chance with you. If you liked what you've been learning in this video and are interested in learning about more of my techniques that make women want you, then I recommend that you read my ebook, The Flow, or listen to the audiobook version, The Flow on Audio. You will learn many ways to spark a woman's attraction for you, connect with her, and make her want to pick you up, go on a date with you, kiss you, or have sex with you. It's very subtle, and women don't even notice that it's happening. Instead, they just feel happy, turned on, and excited when around you. You then let the woman have a chance with you. One final point that I wanna make for you in this video regarding getting a woman to pick you up is that not all women react in the same way. Sometimes you'll meet a woman, use the attraction techniques on her, and she will show you loads of interest and will make it really obvious that she wants to hook up with you. Whereas if you use the same techniques on another woman, she'll be feeling very attracted to you, but won't make it super obvious because she doesn't want to come across as being desperate or too keen. With women like that, you just need to continue making her feel attracted, show some interest in her, but also let her sense that you could lose interest in her if she doesn't pass your tests or doesn't live up to what you actually want in a woman. Don't tell her that, just let her sense it based on your body language, how you interact with her, the kinds of things you say, and so on. And finally, don't feel bad about doing it because women do it to men. And as a result, women are usually in the position of power where they decide whether or not a guy gets a chance with them, right? It's simply about switching roles and putting yourself in the position of power. 